We begin with the impeachment inquiry, which we told you about yesterday, but we'll follow up on the story today. And that is a subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. So it's all about Joe Biden helping his son and brother amass a tremendous amount of wealth when Biden was vice president. We know he did it. There's no doubt he did it. Um, And if people don't want to believe it, then they fall into the category of people believe what they want to believe. That's it. So we all know that he enabled his family to uh, amass a fortune from foreign nations for doing nothing. That, that's been established. What we don't know is if Joe Biden himself benefited directly financially. So in order to find that out, because there were aliases used on uh, smartphones and on laptops, there were shell corporations, there was bank rooting all over the place. In order to find out if then Vice President Biden benefited financially, you have to investigate. Okay, you just, it just doesn't appear magically. So the Justice Department refuses to do that. They're not going to investigate Joe Biden. And I was on News Nation last night with Chris Cuomo, and he's telling me, and has been telling me, oh, the FBI's investigating, the FBI's investigating. I'm going, no, they're not. And here's my proof. How could the FBI be investigating Joe Biden and Hunter Biden if they would sign off on a deal that would allow Hunter Biden to plead lesser charges, no jail time, and not be prosecuted again forever. That's what the deal was, and that's why the judge threw it out. How could the Federal Bureau of Investigation be investigating, okay, and allow that deal, sign off on that deal? It couldn't. It's impossible. And remember, five years. The FBI investigates something for five years and doesn't have anything concrete to bring to the U.S. attorney in Delaware? Does that make sense to you? So the FBI stood down. Even when its own informer gave them information about Joe Biden and Hunter Biden, they didn't act on it, as far as we know, because no evidence has been presented by the FBI in any way involving this Hunter Biden, Joe Biden case. But Chris Cuomo, believes they are investigating. Okay, you make your call on who you think is right. The IRS brought the charges against Hunter Biden. The IRS works for the Treasury Department, not the Justice Department. Okay? All right, that's very, very important to understand. Enter the Republican Party, which controls the House of Representatives. They set up three committees to investigate what happened in the Biden family, all right? Ways and means, judiciary, and oversight. They have accumulated evidence of bank transfers, wire this, computer that, whatever. Not the FBI. The House committees. Again, red flag all over the place because this is what the FBI is expert at doing, tracking down foreign transactions. House had to do it. So now there's an inquiry. Now, why is that important? It's important because it gives the House committees more power to derive information, to get information. Okay? So they can have increased power to take depositions and they can uh, subpoena things in the National Archives, for example, stuff like that, bank records. The problem is that the Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy, said on um, September 1st this, quote, I'll read it. To open an impeachment inquiry is a serious matter, and House Republicans would not take it lightly or use it for political purposes. The American people deserve to be heard on this matter through their elected representatives. That's why if we move forward with an impeachment inquiry, it would occur through a vote on the floor of the People's House and not through a declaration of any one person. Okay, September 1st. But McCarthy opened the inquiry without a vote on the House, and that was a mistake. Okay, if you're going to say that, you've got to follow through. Even if some Republicans defected, which I don't believe they would, I believe it'll be a partisan party vote down the line. Okay, even if a few defected and, and the inquiry resolution went down, 
That doesn't stop the three House committees from investigating and continue their work. So McCarthy should hold that vote as soon as he can, because that elevates the thing. Right now, he looks like he's a guy who say anything. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped a whopping 20%. 2023 could be worse. You are right to be worried. So call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I've been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers and have the highest rating in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.